okay there's a triangle of height h h is the height b is the base so let's calculate first uh, uh, high xx dash so le let me write a b c so uh, about the side bc high bcx now I'm, I'm writing also everything so you have to calculate moment of inertia of this one so what has to be done now here H is the height of the triangle. <coughs> so, uh, what is the best alternative? Assume one strip. Assume one strip. As a one strip, so let the strip be at a distance y. Yeah, the, the, the strip here now. Okay, let's get into the calculation part. And now, uh, let the width of the strip, let it be dy. So then this will become h minus y and x be the length of this. So what is the area of this? So first we'll define what is sigma. Sigma for a triangle, how you define? Sigma is equal to m into half into base into h or this will be 2m by bh. So for every object, you first define that volume density or area density, what all that is after getting this one. Uh, first, like a, <coughs> the elemental structure, what is the moment of inertia of that elemental structure about x axis will calculate. Then we'll integrate, we'll get the total moment of inertia. So why only you took that rectangular plate? Uh, so I think uh, if I add such elemental structures of uh, like a length 2x from varying from 0 to b, then I'll get this triangular plate. But sir, look at this here. It is not actually rectangle. So it is like some sort of trapezium, no? Since dy is very, very small. So this part you can neglect. Please do make notice. I think you know enough calculus also. Since dy is very small, so what happened to area of this will become negligible. So therefore all together. So what will happen to this area? Area will become 2x into dy. Though it's a trapezium, <laughs> this will become negligible. So what is the area of this? dA is equal to or dm is equal to mass of this elemental strip sigma into dA. Sigma into this will be 2x into dy. Keep it this. So now let's apply the parallax theorem. Moment of inertia of this about x-axis should be equal to uh, uh, so shall we write any formula dm into y square only now why there is no moment of inertia because I think uh, so what is other axis the other axis will come here no and what is the axis uh, what is the moment of inertia of a thin rod about its about its own axis will be zero so therefore it should become only dm into y square so value of dm we know sigma 2x dy into y square. So this if I integrate, let me write one step. So 2 sigma, this will be x y square dy. So what to do here x and y is there. So that has to be replaced there. So I'll take help of this triangle. So tan theta. Tan theta should be equal to x by h minus y b by 2 by h are you seeing that similar triangle 
So where all x is there, you can replace this x is equal to how much it will be? B by h minus y. Substitute that x here, then integrate, you'll get the required answer. So this should be, ne next step I'll write it here. B i x equal to 2 sigma b by 2 h h minus y y square dy. Now what should be the limit? 0 to h because this is y equal to 0. Y x is not this origin, this origin. So 0 to h. So if you solve this, we'll end up this equal to m h square by 3. Very important. Moment of inertia of a triangle about any side. It depends upon the height. Sir, what happened the B? I think B will get eliminated. Substituting sigma 2m by bh, the B will get eliminated here. I'm, I'm directly writing, you can later on simplify this. Huh? <coughs> Means now what is the basic idea of this? So whenever they ask you moment of inertia of any triangular plate about any side, so you can take a pause. So let, let me just introduce, suppose if there's a triangle, So what is the, this side is A, this height is H1, this height H2, and about that side, this will become perpendicular, no? No, no, no uh, totally a different application I'm bringing. Uh, what about IAB? Moment of inertia of this triangular plate about an axis passing through side AB. Should be quote how much? M H2 square by 6. Uh, about BC should be M H1 square by 6. About AC you should calculate. I think you know enough of properties of triangle. With the help of that you can calculate H3 all. About any side, this is the one best method available for you. The, in exams, these are the numericals what you'll get it. Huh? They'll, they'll ask you to compare. So you should use this basic method here. It's a, uh, only thing is students should come across all the possible situations. That's all here. Nothing else is there. Let's take the next one. Sir, can you scroll? Ah. Thank you, sir. Okay, now we'll take the same triangular plate. 